friends, Jewel back again with more Sinistry videos. And I thought today we would continue our moon series and talk about moon and partners in ninth house and what happens when we have this overlay. So, Sinistry is chart comparison when we put two charts together on top of each other and we can see where all the planets contact each other and where they fall into the other person's houses. And it gives us a real clue about how these people are going to interact, why they're attracted, what they bring to each other, and what goes on in a day-to-day -day basis between two people. So, the moon is our emotional nature. It is our comfort. It is our habitual emotional patterns and really represents nurturing in the past, how we want to be fed, how we feel full. And the ninth house is the house of inspiration, learning, the higher mind. Our philosophies and the ideas and the beliefs that we form. So, when we have somebody's emotional nature coming into another's house of inspiration and expansion and learning and joy, it is typically a very good combination. It's not a very romantic combination, but it, it's excellent in that the... Moon person um, is greatly respected by the house person. And there's a lot of shared ideas and paradigms between these two people. Very often we can see a shared religion. There's a great deal of agreement about their beliefs and their philosophies in life and what it is they want to achieve, what it is they think greatness is, what they think God is, what they think, um, you know, what, what their, where their joy comes from. That is all ninth house stuff. So the house person is very much um, inspired by the moon person. And so this is one where the house person is very comfortable with the ideas and the actions and the emotional expression of the moon person because they very much match what the house person believes in, what the house person sees as the correct way to view the world or the co correct way to be in the world because we have very irrational reasons for establishing beliefs. They're very much based on our emotions and what makes us feel comfortable. And so these people actually jive really well um, when they interact because the moon person, you know, that's our comforts and what we bring from the past. They match very well with what the house person has decided is their beliefs now and in the future. So there's a great shared sense of rightness and you know that the other one behaves or thinks or believes as they should and that goes a long way in a relationship um, when we're with somebody that we think is uh, like-minded. There's um, less of a sense of being judged um, in this with this position because the beliefs are so similar and they just get along at um, you know at the political and the religious level so you have to look at other things because this is just one part of astrology you could have like Jupiters that are massively you know opposed or um, square and you know other things going on so you could have a little bit of both in a relationship that makes it spicy and that's when you need a good astrologer because you can't just look at one thing and say oh well that's how it is maybe that's how it is situationally maybe that's how it is half the time maybe that's how it is when you don't consider this other part of the relationship so I teach one thing at a time in these videos so it's really important to look at the entire chart and also the birth charts as well so this is one that I actually like because it's a very inspirational placement. The two people learn a great deal from each other, especially the house person. They're very interested in the thoughts, the ruminations, the opinions of the moon person because they're very, um, they look up to them in a sense because they are seen as right or acceptable. And um, people are very much um, 
prone to hooking up with other people that reinforce our concepts and our beliefs about the world. So this is a, a pretty good place to have the moon. It's, it's one of my favorite places in Sinistry. And I think I'll actually do a video really soon about um, best and worst placements in Sinistry and Composite. That might be really helpful to you guys. And I love your suggestions. Please keep them coming. It's important to me to know what you want, and I will get to all of them eventually. So thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do so. You can find me on the internet at truthinaspectastrology.com. You could find me on Facebook, where you should be following me, because I do um, birthday descriptions, astrology, weather forecasts every day. Um, I also specialized in, specialize in relationship and intimacy astrology, as well as um, uh, asteroids and planetoids. So you can find my writings over there concerning those things. My book coming out very soon. Uh, you can pre-order that at Astrology Wizards on Facebook, and that is about asteroids. It has all kinds of placements and um, house placements and information that you will not find anywhere else. And I will be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye-bye.